In this video, we'll look at Groove Machine's loop recording capabilities. Loop recording allows you to create your groove by playing it in real time rather than building it up step by step. Let's start out by resetting the groove to clear it out. Now let's add a kick drum by selecting bass drum 1, then calling up a kick drum in the sample editor. Now we'll do the same for the snare drum. Make sure that Groove Machine has the first drum part in focus, which you can test by clicking on the buttons at the bottom. Now the key to loop recording is engaging the controls in the right order. If you press record and then play, Groove Machine will record all eight bars, or until you press stop. But if you press play and then record, Groove Machine will loop around the number of bars with data in them. For this example, I'm gonna press the record button, which will then glow red. And when ready to begin, I'll press the play button, wait for the four click count in, and then Groove Machine will record all the way through bar eight and cycle back to the top, like this. When you're ready to lay down the next part, just click on that part to bring it into focus and continue. Now if we right click at the bottom, we can call up the sequencer view. Here you can see your whole pattern from bar 1 through bar 8. And we can go in manually and remove any wrong notes. We can also use this view to supplement our loop recording by drawing in the more mechanical parts like the hi-hat. Now let's record a synth part using loop editing. First, I need to get a sound loaded up in synth part one. But let me show you how easy it is to build a cool synth from scratch. Now Groove Machine placed a default saw wave into each of the oscillators when we reset it. And it sounds like this. Pretty basic, but check this out. All I'm going to do is set the oscillator controls, phase controls, and the unisono to about halfway. Now listen. And just for fun, let me drop one oscillator down an octave. Okay, let's lay down a synth part. Make sure the synth part is in focus. Click the record button and then click play. And again, we can open the sequencer view to see what we did and make any tweaks. And remember, almost every parameter in Groove Machine can respond to the automation commands of your host DAW for almost limitless mixing possibilities. For more great software, visit the ImageLine online shop. And for more great tutorials, visit StreamworksAudio.com.